Hi, I'm LV from Meadowlark Log Homes, and this is our good friend Dennis and my daughters, Jana and Verena, and we're here to stain this house. There's a link below this video for uh, a video I have of this house earlier when the guys got done building it. So Meadowlark Log Homes built the house, and it was two years ago, and we're here to come at the customer's request to stain, put stain on the outside. We're going to power wash, clean it, and stain it. And the first job is to clean all the, move some of his belongings off the porch and then begin the stain, uh, the cleaning process. So we're here to get to work. And I think Jana is going to be the photographer, the video gal for the job. So maybe she'll play hooky, not get too much work done, but she'll do video. So what we have is I brought this toy along this big man lift to uh, reach the high parts of the house. And we have a, a uh, tank of water on that truck hooked to the pressure washer so we have a water source to power wash the house. So let's get started. While they're taking uh, the rest of these items away from the house so they don't get overspray on them, I'll take a walk around and we'll take a look at the house. They're dragging these items out from underneath the porch. We're stacking them over by that tree so they don't get overspray. So let's have a look around. Meadowlark Log Homes started with the floor system that's underneath here, the subfloor. The concrete was here and then we set the floor and we did this porch deck. I'm gonna walk around this way. And this was two years ago this month. So this house was built, <clears throat> excuse me, exactly two years ago this month. And this outdoor porch has got some gray on it. But that's no problem. I'll wash that off with a power washer. I'll stain it. It's got some roof cover here with the four foot overhang. This is the Meadowlark Rancher, but I believe it's several feet wider. It might be four feet wider. I think it's uh, 32 by 42, I think, but it's just a little wider than the Meadowlark Rancher. So what I told the owner at the time if he could have the patience to wait for at least one year, two years is better, and not stain the outside, not, not put anything on the outside, to allow the weather to kind of hit it and gray it up a little bit, give these little hairline cracks, open it up a little bit, dry it out real good. It's going to take in more stain. We can do a better job of staining it if he can just wait a little while. He was happy to do that. We're back two years later. And this is going to really soak in the stain. Like I said, the first job is to put this soapy water on it. It's called Clean and Bright. It's a biodegradable cleaner that helps deep clean the wood and get it to, to a golden color. And then we mask the windows and then we apply the stain. Two coats of pine wood tint color stain and one top coat clear. And the product on this house is going to be the Timber Pro Natural UV Exterior Plant-Based Finish. I'm going to get up on the porch and take a closer look at the doors and the windows. These are some of my favorite doors and windows, the Sierra Pacific H2. It's the, I'm sorry, H3. They're clad with aluminum on the outside and they're wood on the inside. It's locked. We can't get inside, so... We're going to come inside later and do the varnish on the interior and the chinking. But the first job is to get the stain on the outside and then we'll come back and chink it, which is a caulk by all the seams. So this is the H, uh, H3 window from Sierra Pacific. I like the color. And if you were to be able to see the inside, you'd see the wood on the inside. But you can see that in the video in the link below where I talk about this house. So you can see all that from the other video. So the drying process of seasoning, even though the logs were quite dry when we built it, they just continue to season and, and open up and, and get dry. The ends soak in a lot more stain. So we're going to stain the floor, ceiling, the, the, this trim. This is a, a Douglas fir larch trim around the doors and windows. To get back to say what we did, we, we started with the, the, the porch floor and the subfloor. We set the logs up, 
this was a pre-assembled log package at Metal Arc Log Homes, and then we reassemble it here. We put the windows and doors in, put the roof on all the way through felt. We put all the fascia on the wrapping around the roof and the decking that you see, we did that. So we went as far as the windows and doors and then we left. And two years later, we're back to put the stain on. So let's get a get that unloaded and start power washing. This is the little Honda pump that is connected with this hose suction into this tank of water. And like I said, we bring the water along because there's no well. So hopefully that's gonna be enough water. It usually is 100 or 200 gallons is enough for the whole house. That'll put the water into this pressure washer. The pressure washer is hooked to this, this wand and I've got the soap tip on it. So I just soap it real well with the biodegradable cleaner. And so we're ready to go. Let's see if we can get this, this pressure washer started. Then Dennis will just drive around the building with the, this all on the on the truck and I'll follow with the the man lift and clean this thing off. Let's see if we can start the pump and the pressure washer. I got the soap applied on this these two sides. I'll let that soak a few minutes. I'll pull the, the soap uh, hose out of it, be clear water, change my tip so it doesn't have soap, and we're gonna start power washing. Soap activates and helps to clean the logs. So next step, change the tip. So I put the green tip on it, the 25 degree tip, and I kind of like that one. It's pretty good pressure. The bigger the the, the spray pattern, the less pressure. So I'd like a 25. So now Dennis is going to back this truck up back over here and I'll start pressure washing the house off.
So here we are in our moon suits. Dennis and I are suiting up to get ready for the applying the stain. Let's have a walk around and, and see what, what it looks like uh, as we prepare to start putting the stain on. I've got my my stain gun, I like a 18 to 24 inch shaft on the stain gun. It's had a lot of use as you can tell, but it works really well. It's a Titan sprayer. So there's my gun ready for the for use. This is a Titan, uh, Titan 440 sprayer. It's got wheels, I like that. And we put it right in the bucket. It just goes in like this. And I do like the wheels because you don't have to carry it around. It's, they're quite heavy. And we use the, the paddle, the battery drill with a paddle to stir it. So that's the Timber Pro Pinewood Stain. We got everything washed off. We got the girls started to uh, mask the windows. Jana's gonna take the camera over as we stain this side. So it's all washed. And Verena's taping that window. We're gonna start back here and try to get this stained before the sun hits that side. I don't like to stain in really hot weather in full sun. Prefer shade, so here we go. So I gotta put this mask on my head. The glasses on my head. Good morning, Elvie here again. 
This is the second morning. We worked some long hours yesterday and got quite a bit done. Uh, this is again, as I've mentioned, the Montana Rancher from Meadowlark Log Homes and uh, a little bit wider, but basically the same model, but wider. So here we are on this beautiful mountain and I'm gonna go in detail and look at uh, what we did yesterday so you can see what it looks like after the first coat of the stain is put on. If I repeat myself, sorry about that. I wanna make clear what we're putting on there and what, so people have a lot of questions. So again, it's the Timber Pro plant-based UV exterior stain. There's no petroleum in this product. It's all plant-based, much safer. At the end of the day, I don't feel as sticky and horrible even though we mask up well, it's safe for your, the grass and the pets and much safer for yourself. And the reason we like the Timber Pro is because insects don't like it. In my experience, it lasts just as long as other brands, maybe longer. On the south side where the sun hits it really bad with wind and sun, this stain, like almost any stain, is going to fade out in three to five years. You might have to put a top coat on, but we've had pretty good success for 10 years with the product before restaining in the in the areas that's protected so i'm very happy with the longevity of it so i'm going to go through and show uh what what it looks like this is one coat so we obviously pressure washed it really heavily yesterday and uh it, it just it brought some of the color back it was two years old which was actually my recommendation so as you're looking at this finish now the first coat there's going to be this first coat and then uh, the second coat of color and the third coat is going to be clear top coat which is going to be milky and then it'll turn clear so this first coat i put a lot on it's, it's soaked in deep we brushed it it's, it's hard by this morning ready for a second coat we didn't get the whole thing just we just did this side and the front side and the porch decks yesterday this side is not uh, sprayed yet we want to get to it before the sun hits it too hot this has been clean, fresh wash, so it brought some of the color back. But it looks a little bit antique. It looks a little bit, little bit aged. And the porch deck is, is already, you know, very firm already and hardened overnight. And we really, we really put a, a heavy coat on this floor. So these walls are not done yet, but the floor has the one coat. So this is our Douglas fir rim that we put on. It got that, got one coat. So very pleased with how it dried overnight and how it, uh, how it looks. I, I, I sent photos uh, to the customer, homeowner. He likes it, he's raving about it in the photos because it's got coming, like I said, I, I would call it like an antique brown, almost gray when the sun hits it, hint of antique gray. I love the pinewood color. So the girls here, my daughters are mixing the, some more stain. This is ready to go. This this. Titan sprayer's got the paint of the stain ready to go. Actually, I want to put this lid on. This is what I cut a lid out like that overnight and during the day, and I can put it on the bucket like this and uh, protects the, maybe it keeps it from drying out more. So I do it like that. So they're mixing up some more stain. And what I like about Timber Pro is it comes in a clear base and then we stock the colors in these tints this is for a five gallon of the pine wood we put in there a little pint of tint into the five gallon bucket and we we mix it around so this is the, the clear that's how it comes completely clear then we put this the tint in there and then we stir it real well and that's that we like that because we just have to stock the clear base at home with the colors we wash out the can real good with water this is all can be used for water wash up and, and they're gonna put some water in the in the pint and get it uh, rinsed out. So Verena's gonna put some water in there and rinse that out. So you can rinse, you can you can dilute it with water, but you don't want to, but a couple ounces doesn't hurt. So we rinse the tin out of the pint out with water and put that in there. So they're mixing the stain and Dennis is getting fired up. Put your, uh, he's gonna put his uh, protective gear, moon suit on. We'll fire up this man lift to reach the high areas. So we're gonna get this side done first going around.
because this side's got the the stain on it. The window trim takes the stain too. I'm very pleased with how it feels, how it looks. It's hard already, ready for the second coat. And what I like about the Timber Pro also is it doesn't have any soft oils. Every petroleum based stain is going to have soft oils of the because of the petroleum, which attracts dust into it. It's always somewhat sticky, even though you can't feel it. It, it is, it is always and forever somewhat sticky because of the petroleum. Whereas this plant-based product, once it dries in a day or so, there is it's not sticky at all. It does not attract dust, does not attract insects. And on the last coat of the clear, we mix in the bug juice into the clear top coat and spray that on the whole house and it becomes an insect killer. Now, the poor insects will die. They will hit the wall and fall off and die. So it'll take care of all the flies and the stink bugs and any kind of insect that crawls on it's going to die. So very effective in our house. We really like that because it takes all those insects from trying to get into the house. And Okay, let's get started and uh, get staining. The porch has the third and final coat and the last coat is the clear with no tint in it with the bug juice. And when the insects land on it, they die. So you flood it like this, it looks milky and bad, but give it 30 minutes, it'll be nice and smooth. It all blends in with no runs when it's done. Over here is the porch that I just did, the side porch. I'll get video in the morning of when this is all dried and we'll see how it looks in the morning. 
So we got uh, two coats on the outside, the third coat on the porch decks, and then we have to do the final coat on the outside tomorrow. It's been a good run. Good morning. So last night, just as we were finishing up this side and the other side, the last, uh, the second coat, this man lift decided to quit working. In that last time lapse, you could see this was white when I flooded it with the last clear coat. Then you could see the time lapse over about a half an hour, 45 minutes, that it turned, uh, it all, all drank it in and looks like that now. So after about an hour or so, the white milky is all completely gone. This side is done, except for the top. Now here's, here's what I want to tell you about that man lift. I said it wouldn't start. We did everything we think of. I finally said, let's uh, let's put a, a charger on it. Maybe that's what did it. But then we prayed for it, put our hands on it. Prayed in the name of Jesus to start. Man lift be healed. And it was sitting right here. It started and it ran. And we ran that thing over here and finished this side of the, of the colored, the second coat. So testimony to prayer. We just prayed for that machine and it worked. So... All right, this is done now, ready for the third coat. There's how it looks with the third coat applied. That's as far as I can reach. I'll have to use a man lift to do that, uh, that part up there, but that's how it looks. And it looks like a mess. So when you put the third coat on, you flood it, let it run, it'll all soak in clear. Now I'll move around the front and do a, get the front side. Here's a before and then we'll do an after it when it gets done. So that's got the second coat on everything and ready for the final white milk on top. We took a lunch break and now we are done with the stain and we've got to get the plastic off all the doors and windows around the bottom metal and the vents and then we're ready we're done so if you'd like to have your house stained you can contact metal Lark log homes through the links below there's phone numbers and website contact them and we can finish your metal Lark log home or, or even other log homes with stain and chink. So the next step here for the customer is Philip, my brother-in-law. He comes and puts the chinking in on the seams here. So first step is the stain and the second step is chinking, which the real term is actually caulking, but we call it chink. And we chink all these, we chink these, these cracks that open up and every seam, every crack that's over three eighths of an inch or bigger is, is caulked and sealed up. So that's what we do. That's the next step. And then we're going to go inside this winter and do the uh, sanding it, kind of cleaning up and varnishing it and chink on the inside. Again, I think I mentioned that the last coat, we did put the bug juice in that clear coat. The milky white clear coat has the bug juice, which the insects will land on here now and they will die. So I'll do a walkthrough once I get done with taking all the plastic off. And we'll take a look at the plastic, how it looks with that on it. And then we'll do a follow-up with the plastic gone when we're all wrapped up. It looks really nice. It's dried already. This is all done. They're going to start taking the wrapping off and loading all the tools, cleaning up. 
we got the trailer out there to take the man lift home on and then the truck had the water tank in it so we're almost ready to wrap up here we're done we got three coats of stain on this montana rancher so let's have a walk around and see what uh, it looks like all finished there's dennis and he's going to drive the water truck home with the empty water tank my two girls are in that truck with the man lift all the leftover paint and supplies pressure washer and all that stuff is all loaded strapped down ready to head back to libby so we just got everything done with third coat two coats color last coat clear with bug juice this is what people like this front sunburst entry for the montana rancher it makes a really grand way to get in the house alex chose not to have railing i don't know what he's going to do he might bring the landscaping up close to the floor so we'll see what he does but there's the finished product with the floor stained ceiling stained fascia stained everything stained on the outside all the wrapping and the masking removed let's get a close-up of the finish after about a day of the last coat drying It's pretty looking. It looks slightly antique with that pine wood. This deck is still drying. I put another coat on that outside deck. So that's got four coats. Just because it's uncovered, I put two co coats of color and two top coats of clear just to give it a little bit more protection from the elements. It looks really nice. There's some white spots, but they'll dry out as it uh, continues to soak in. The Metal Rock Rancher and the Montana Rancher are almost identical except for this grand entry in the front. The Metal Lark Rancher just doesn't have this sunburst like that. Just the roof just goes straight across. It's less money and it's simpler, but this is really nice. Pinewood, I think it's my favorite. Not too brown, not too red. It's just a really nice color. Okay, folks, there you have it. Montana Rancher, all stained. We'll see you next time.